I don't believe in kicking a man while he's down. I really don't. But I just don't like these mother... You can live pretty well by yourself. What's good, everybody? It's your man, CJ Kyle's checking in. Once again, the high-value nurse in the building. And I decided to take a little lunch break. And while I'm on a lunch break, I decided to talk about a situation that has been pretty popular on YouTube. Now, if you don't know who I am, I am a licensed practical nurse. 90% of my channel is dedicated to nursing, but the other 10% is about becoming the best version of yourself, how to get money as a nurse, and podcasting and current events such as this one that I am about to speak on. But fresh and fit. Myron Gaines and Fresh and Fit. Where do I begin with these two? Especially Myron, though. <sighs> Let's start from what I feel is the beginning, right? They got into a beef with Abba and Preach, and shout out to Abba and Preach. Um, Myron said some horrible things about Preach's family and where he comes from. And they wanted all the smoke, and they gave them all the smoke. Um, Fresh went to go buy a, a pistol, a shooter, whatever he's gonna buy. And, you know, things kinda, it was like a little back and forth, and then Fresh and Fit apologized. And they lost like 50, 60,000 subscribers. And now, allegedly, Myron is going around getting OnlyFans and Instagram thoughts pregnant, allegedly. Now, if you've been all over the internet, the text messages have leaked, talking about, I want you to get the abortion, and this dude is on tape, and everything like that. Just a whole bunch of sipping and sucker stuff that's going on. So why am I talking about this? because I think it's very important that we recognize when, when somebody is really getting scammed versus somebody who's uh, doing something for the community that is a good thing. Ladies and gentlemen, Myron Games and Fresh and Fit are horrible representations of black men, American black men, which they are not American. But, they are awful representations of black men nonetheless. They have these women on their podcast and everybody knows it's a gimmick. Anybody with any common sense can see right through it. They pay these women. They pan women for sex. And, and that's your thing. That's cool. But what I'm saying is don't present a lifestyle that you are trying to sell a product on. They charge and cast $2,000 for a certain stupid classes and everything like that and all kind of stuff and the thing is <laughs> these men are so phony so phony and they've been exposed and rightfully so now do I think fresh and fit will make a comeback eventually but I just want it to be known that fresh and fit do not represent thorough black men Fresh and fit are an awful representation of dudes prior to getting famous who could not get women, who had no game whatsoever, who couldn't even talk to chicks. Look how emotional Myron Gaines get when he talks to some of the women on the show. This dude stays fighting with chicks, yelling at women, kicking them out of studio. Some chick is always running up and slapping him. It's because of the energy that he gives off. And then you have the fans talking about Frank Castle. He's doing this and doing that. No, sir. No, sir. You are a beta male. You are a beta male, sir. Fre especially fresh. There is nothing, and I mean absolutely nothing, about fresh that says I'm a player even from this guy's inflection from the way he speaks, like what idiot will believe him? I mean, come on, let's, let's, let's be real, knock it off. Knock it off, fresh and fit, you know? And I told Cass day one, 
they they spit a bunch of other people's stuff. They take a bunch a bunch of other people's talking points. People like Kevin Samuels and a bunch of other people in the manosphere and and they just spit them back out and they put their own little twist to it. They bring a bunch of thoughts up to the studio. Women who are extremely stupid. Most of them can't even debate. And this is why you get the results that you get. Because people can see through the gimmick. People can see through the facade. People can see through the smoke. And it is what it is. I saw it from day one. But apparently a lot of people co-sign them. And they got to rise up quickly. And I get that. And I can I can respect their hustle. No, I, I can't respect the hustle. But I just can't respect the facade. I can't respect the phony. I can't respect, respect the fake can't do that I won't accept it because what the things they're doing and it's not just the abortion part Myron has been accused of allegedly doing some awful humiliating stuff to women allegedly let me say it again allegedly doing some awful things to women and um, that is not a representation of black community, of the black community. That is not a representation of black culture. That is not a representation of how thorough black men conduct themselves. You have to understand that. Now, O'Shea Du Jackson has called for them to be kicked out of the manosphere, and rightfully so. Um, it seems as though they have been blackballed. A lot of people. I mean, I guess people are still working with them because they still have a base. People are, they're still going to have people that constantly rock with them no matter how dumb or how much lies or, you know, they tell. No matter how much they've been exposed and how many text messages that came out. And I'm talking about like this whole Frank Castle, I'm this, I'm that, I'm bad. But this dude is on text messages talking about watching the sunrise, laying here naked. But, oh, I can't handle it because my blood pressure is up. I need you to get an abortion and all that. Just a lot of sucker stuff. And I can't co-sign that. And I cannot rock with that. I cannot rock with that, ladies and gentlemen. And I have to keep iterating that those two, Myron and Fresh, are not representatives of black men. Nor are they representatives of black culture. They are representatives of two weak beta male simps who are overly emotional, who can't take criticism because when Abra and Preach criticized them, they were ready to fight. They insulted the man's wife. And they were ready to, 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 to insulting them and talking about them and all that kind of stuff, stuff that was really stupid. I'm just talking about like no integrity whatsoever. And we're gonna take more of a deep dive tomorrow night on my live show, but yes, Myron, and allegedly he's some sort of agent, like a Homeland Security or like an FBI agent. His real name isn't Myron Gaines, and we knew that. I mean, I knew that, but it just was what it was, homie, and I'm just like, be you. Be who you are. When I get on this camera, I'm me. I'm CJ. I don't got a lot of nobody. I don't got a lot of kicking. Y'all see me at work on lunch giving y'all the game, doing what I do, getting in front of this camera and saying how I really feel and saying the truth. I don't got to lie about no woman. You ain't going to never see no DMs of me out here begging a woman for sex or nothing like that, bro. That's crazy. That's craziness. And um, unfortunately, man, a lot of these dudes follow them. And it is what it is, man. You're entitled to follow who you want, but they don't represent black culture. They don't. They suck us. And they always will be suckers. And I don't rock with them, and I don't think anybody with any self-respect should rock with them, but it is what it is. Let them get their money. Ladies and gentlemen, I am the high-value nurse, CJ Kyles, and I'm just checking in once again. Make sure you hit that like button, notification button, all that good stuff, so you don't miss none of the content, because we bringing you out some hot fire every single day. So until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I will holler at y'all tomorrow. Peace.